All right, here we have another wonderful one-off sent in by Chris. Chris. This artist's name is Sabaton. Chris gave us a, a little backstory or a little tidbit about Sabaton. Joe? Sabaton is a Swedish power metal band, and the usage of the word power there. Power metal. I mean, metal band is already pretty great, but a power metal? Yeah, what is power metal? I mean, I know about, like, heavy metal, mm. but I'm interested in this power, death metal. Right. Power metal from... Fall, fallen, F-A-L-U-N. I'm assuming it's in Sweden. The vast majority of their albums are written about historical events, mainly wars and significant battles. All right. Interesting. Okay. This is their song, Bismarck. So, did you find the boat? You know what? I know exactly what they mean by power metal. <laughs> I, that's okay. what I was gonna say. Now I understand power metal. I know what power metal. I is. see where power. <laughs> I see where the power fits now. That feels like power metal. That feels exactly. It's not death like metal. Nah. It's not heavy metal. It's power metal. It's power metal. That makes a lot more sense. It, uh, it really does. It's all coming together. Oh man, uh, it's great. I mean, it is exactly what it is. I like their outfits. The guitar riffs are fun. The drums sound great. His vocals are very theatrical. I like his accent in the vocals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like the trilling, the yeah. trilling, the whatever consonants he's trilling. Yeah, yeah, it's great. And I mean the set. Being on the boat is a nice touch. I gotta say, they're like a naval, and not even a big boat, like a little boat. This might be the smallest boat I've seen an entire band perform on, <laughs> with lights and shit. Ah, oh, Joe. Wait till you see my canoe performance next week. An entire band. Well, I am the band. <laughs> like I need, I need. I've seen someone sing on a boat before. Oh, have you? Yeah. Not the way I'm gonna do it. Oh, I hope so. Yeah, this is this is pretty awesome. I and I like how they came. I like that they showed this where they come in. They're like, all right. Do you have the boat, or did you find the boat? Get it. Get us the boat. Let's get out there. Yeah. All right. Let's yeah. see how it goes. I skipped some. Oh, I did. That's good. 
The Atlantic. Oh. Man, Where I love his moves when he's slamming down on his leg. His freaking biceps are massive. And he's like old fashioned buff, you know? Yeah. He's not new age buff. Yeah, he's, he's like, no nonsense buff. He's like buff from like lifting up rocks and stones and like digging yeah, dirt, cutting and stuff. trees down. Yeah, yeah, that kind of buff, like lumberjack buff. Yeah. He's buff from like picking up barrels full of beer and moving yeah, them, you know, yeah, or like, uh, or he's buff from like, from like moving heavy, heavy HVAC equipment up and down stairs <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a construction yeah, in a building. I, I agree, but I think it's a little too modern. Ah, oh, sorry. It's got to be like, uh, yeah, like like casks of ale. <laughs> yes, Joe. He's an ale. He's an ale mover. <laughs> he's the type of person that casks uses the word cask. Yeah. Oh, he so is, and I love that. And that's the that's where the power is coming from. I mean, look, look at the power. Oh, look at the boots. Oh, I thought I saw. We're not getting any good power shots right now. I know. I'd really love to get it. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a power shot. That's a power shot. 
He's I got love, that handlebar mustache. I love that he's oh, yeah. wearing the freaking vest. Oh my the gosh, aviators. look at that must look at that. Look at that hair into mustache into beard into hair. It's awesome. Isn't it, Joe? Like it comes full square. It's full square. Uh I want to pause it on one. I think it's one of the guitar players. Yeah, this oh. guy looks awesome. He looks like he came in from the ocean and then invented a new style of guitar playing. <laughs> he just looks cool. Get this man in a movie. He's yeah. got a great look. Beautiful beard, long hair, nice eyes, nice nose. So my question is, how long have these guys been around from this video five years ago? I want to know more about dun, 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 dun. I just mean, general knowledge of Sa Sabaton. Sabaton. Yeah, they... They've clearly been around for a while. They're not very young looking. They're not young looking, and in order, I'm, this looks like it was made for a movie. So, in order to get an opportunity to write for a movie and then have a music video with the movie involved, like they must have been well known enough prior to five years ago. So, was this this song was made about the battle of? A battle for a ship called the Bismarck? No, this song looks like it was made for this movie. That's about the battle of the Bismarck. I guess so, yeah, because the, it's the name of the song and in the lyrics. Well, he says, the he says, the vast majority of the albums are written about historical events, mainly wars and significant battles. That's what Chris said. Yeah, but... You you think they had the music video budget to have all these insane shots? No, not necessarily. Shots. I'm saying that's what the song is about. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, maybe maybe then they just wrote a, the rest of the album. Like, you know what? That was really fun to write the song about this battle. That's right. Well, it sounds like that's, that's a big aspect of their artistry is writing songs about battles. Oh, you know what? Yeah, because their guitars are have the camouflage print on them. Yeah. Oh, that guy you know again. What? He looks great there, but I like after he's been out to sea for a little bit. He's worn in a little bit more. He's got a look. He does. Dang. Look. All their guitars have yeah. the print, and they're wearing the pants and everything. So I don't know if this is just like specific to this music video and song, or if like this is their thing. They're like a war band, or like a battle band. Battle band. Yeah. 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 Power battle. I guess so, yeah. And it was great. The guitar riffs are... You know what I love about modern metal is the mixing and production has just been perfected over the years since the 80s. Yeah. Like, they've just gotten so good. The formula is the exact same, and it's just gotten a little... They just keep tweaking it, and so these recordings are just flawless and so crisp. Yeah. Everything is heard. Everything's so punchy and clean and well done. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's a joy to listen to it with, like, an engineer's ear, like a producer's ear, and be like, ah... Oh, Everything's taken care of. Everything's neatly tied up. And especially with the with the genre of metal, everything is perfectly on the beat. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. There's no it like. Swing. There's no feel. It's just like. <laughs> yeah. Very punchy too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, the there were some really nice fills in there. With one of these parts, I can't remember. I can't remember where it was. There was some. There was a part that had so many sick drum fills. And I was like, dang, that's awesome. But, of course, the guitar solo. That is a, that is a, not a, just an, that is a victorious guitar solo. Well, Joe, they won the battle. I don't think they did. I think they lost. Ah. You That's can, where that you can still scream sh shouts of victory as you're sinking. Well, as you're battling. As you're battling. Well, you know what I liked? I liked that I just said, no, I think they lost, and you just immediately said, oh, right, okay. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Go on. <laughs> I, I am, <laughs> yeah, what were you looking at? <laughs> I am easily persuaded. Very good. Easily swayed in a Yes, and. 
I hold no solid opinions in my life. <laughs> Mike is easily persuaded, but he has lots of opinions. So many very weak opinions that I'm just ready to what? change my mind on an in, in an instant. What? You voted for him? Yeah, well, because of this reason. Oh. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll vote for him next I'll time. Vote, I'll vote for him next time. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's good I call. mean, anyone in the comments, if you disagree with anything I say in any video, I'll just immediately agree with you. Oh, I, I, see, I see where you're coming Let's from. See, there's no reason to really argue. Just state your case uh, nicely and politely, and then Mike will agree with you. Yeah, I'll come into the comments and be like, I agree. Like, you know what? Honestly, this guy's got a point. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I start, like, backing him up. Like he comes in, and, and most of the statements are just negative about you. Yeah. Like, oh, the guy and on the that, left has no idea what the hell he's talking about. He's like, honestly, I know. What he, I kind of, I kind of get what he means. I kind of see where he's coming from here. Uh, okay, Who, who's with us? <laughs> <laughs> who's with us on this? <laughs> All right. Well, that was fun. That was power metal. Yeah. We, I don't think we've done much power metal. We haven't done much metal in general. Right. So, yeah, so I guess you nice know, let's, switch let's get more metal in the let's get more metal in weekly top five. And thank you to Chris. Yes, of course. See ya.